Welcome back to Power Tips 365 with me, Shelley Fischel. Today's topic is a new feature in Word called Researcher, and it's available in Word 2016 with an Office 365 subscription. So let's see how we get on with it. Right, so here I am in my Word 2016 document. And as you can see, I've got a title there, Microsoft Office 365. So I want to write an article all about Office 365 and I need to find some information about it to help me compose my article. For that reason, I'm going to come up to the References ribbon and I'm going to click Researcher in the Research group. This opens up a task pane on the right hand side of my window and this allows me to pick some topics that it thinks I might want to be writing about. However, I'm going to type in here Office 365, press the return key or the enter key and it brings me up various sources about Office 365 from around the web and it uses Bing to power that research. So I'm going to start with the first option just because I want to demonstrate for you and it pops up in a bit more detail some information. Now I can insert any of this information directly into my document from within this article. So I can click here on the little plus and choose to add it as a heading. It pops in a heading and it pops a comment in as well with a link to the article. So if I come back um, down here um, I can then come into the article itself by clicking on it. I can highlight the text that I might want to add and when I've done that it gives me the option to add the text or to add and cite. If I choose add it just pops the text in and if I go further down and I'm going to do with the second feature I'm going to go to add the heading for history and then underneath there I'm going to select the text that'll do and I'm going to choose to add and cite this time. So that adds the text into my document. So you can see immediately that I'm building up a nice picture of my document. I'll close that. I can um, get rid of the comments later on as you can see, as we'll see and there's all my document and the citation is there and if I want to then build a bibliography or a citation I can go to uh, insert the bibliography and it will I'll choose how I want it to look and it pops in the words with the citation already created for me. So I'm sure you'll agree that that's quite a good way of doing research. Obviously you might then read those articles, rewrite them in your own words, you wouldn't want to plagiarize but it's a great shortcut. These will also take me to shortcuts, it will bring the article back into my navigation pane so that I can come back to it again and I can just get rid of those comments and I can stop the track changes which is on my review ribbon I can choose to see no markup and then it's all gone away and then of course I can strip that out but that's for another video so there we have it researcher in office 365 Microsoft Word 2016